food. This is uh, not your first COVID webinar. Uh, so we are Zylogix. Zylogix, we're a Pacific Northwest um, IT provider. Uh, we do everything across the board, across your data center, from uh, networking to storage and security to wireless, business continuity, backup, SaaS recovery, uh, VoIP virtualization, monitoring the works. Um, we do both uh, work with you directly to train your team or to uh, provide you managed service, whichever is uh, best for you. All right. Uh, with that, let me turn things over. Enough about me and enough about this. You're here to hear about uh, Veeam and Office uh, 365 Backup. So please uh, welcome Edward and Edward, take it away. Sure, great. Thanks, Mark, and thanks everyone for joining today. Uh, so just a little bit about Veeam uh, to kind of level set on the presentation today. Veeam is uh, the leader in cloud data management. So many of you may be familiar with our backup and replication products we have in the market. Uh, really, we've since the very early days of virtualization, really we were the, the very first to market for backing up those virtualized types of environments, right? So the VMware, the Hyper-Vs. And uh, since then, we've really expanded our offerings into physical, the physical space, uh, encompassing uh, an ecosystem of partners uh, in the cloud space as well, Microsoft Azure, AWS, IBM Cloud, and of course, uh, the likes of uh, Zilogix. And uh, to date now, uh, we have uh, well over 300,000 uh, customers worldwide. We're in many different countries. And uh, again, we can only continue to grow uh, in this space uh, based on our simple, reliable, and flexible solutions. Uh, so a quick summary of today's presentation. We're going to really cover some of the acceleration we're seeing in the Office 365 space. Uh, go into the key reasons because we know that, you know, there's a lot of debate around, do I need a backup for Office 365? Uh, what are some of those critical reasons that I need to be thinking about for my business? Uh, and uh, what are what exactly are those reasons? Why do I need to care about them? Uh, the shared responsibility in Office 365, we'll cover that a little bit. Uh, we'll cover the retention policies in Office 365. What are some of the gaps we need to be really cautious of? And of course, we'll look at Veeam Backup for Office 365, uh, which is the product that enables that backup of Office 365 data. I'm going to go into how it works, and then we're going to wrap up with a Q&A. So um, like Mark mentioned, we all, we've all we all done these sorts of webinars before, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll get going. So to level set, I would be remiss to enter into this subject without uh, covering some of the just amazing growth numbers that we've seen uh, for Office 365. Uh, many of you may be familiar with the, the Teams growth, uh, the growth that's happened for Teams. Many organizations like yourselves have, have adopted Teams in the last six month and it, months. In fact, 50% uh, growth was experienced this past year, uh, lots of which was driven by that remote work transition. Uh, bringing the total Office 365 user count to 258 million. Uh, things are changing. The way we work has changed, and this product, Microsoft Teams, is on, on the forefront of that. So now uh, let's dive straight into the reasons why, and some of these will apply more to your organization than not, but um, in any case, all of these are research-driven uh, reasons we found. Accidental deletion, uh, and it's not so much the accidental deletion of a, of a file or document that matters, it's what happens post-deletion. Is that data loss? Have I just suffered permanent data loss? And some of that can have to do with the retention policies confusion and some of the some of the gaps that exist. So uh, perhaps you have an expectation of how long your retention policies are. Uh, perhaps, perhaps that's different than what your organization's uh, you know expectations are, uh, or maybe that's even different than the user's expectations. So again, there's there's many different um, perceptions around retention policies. There are lots of confusions around these, and we're going to cover this in a little more detail. Internal security threats, uh, these are sometimes overlooked uh, security threats. So these could be the departing employees or the, the rogue employees, right? And uh, the question you're asking is, well, how often does that actually happen? I don't have the answer as to how often that might happen. Uh, but what I can tell you is that it's still a risk. It Does it have the potential to happen? Um, are there bad eggs that get hired? And, you know, is there is there the possibility of them causing some harm to my organization? That risk can always exist. Um, external security threats, these are probably the ones we're a little more familiar with, uh, the ransomwares, uh, rogue apps. What we know about ransomware today is that it's getting more and more sophisticated. Uh, they're finding more and more ways to trick our users into 
um, providing confidential information and data can get stolen. And that's a real risk that uh, we're dealing with today. And of course, that things like a backup can really mitigate that risk. Legal and compliance requirements. Uh, so many of the tools built into Office 365 do lend themselves to that e-discovery or being able to find certain files. Uh, but in many cases, it's much easier to have a purpose-built third-party backup solution that really enables a really fast and easy way to quickly find that needle in a haystack for your HR or compliance officer and move on with the rest of the day. And we have many, many customers at Veeam, for instance, that are, are using um, this product for, for that very purpose. And of course, all of these elements are only made complex by the different environments that we manage and monitor. Uh, many of us have on-prem exchange um, and Office 365 hybrid deployments, and of course, finding a, a way to uh, make sure there's streamlined protection across both of those environments is, is very critical. We also have a seventh reason, and uh, the reason this is kind of split out from the rest is because it's a new reason for us that we've discovered these really these past six months from talking to customers uh, and finding what they're dealing with. And really, it's, it's all about teams and how the team's data is structured. It's not a self-contained application. It's almost a universe of data scattered through Office 365 in various locations, uh, SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business. Um, and essentially, that creates a whole set of new challenges is you know making sure that that data is completely protected and available. So I'm going to kick off with some data here. Uh, this was a, a Veeam customer survey that we ran, and we asked the question, what is your organization's primary protection strategy for O365? Select uh, one choice from the list below. We found that far and away, many organizations still do not back up this data, surprisingly. Um, and many, in fact, 20% also rely on Microsoft's internal policies uh, and processes to protect that data. So that's and that's actually pretty scary as well, because uh, in many cases, Microsoft doesn't have those customers fully protected. But again, that 20% are fully in belief that that what Microsoft provides is, is good enough for their business. And uh, today I'm going to, again, uncover a few myths uh, that will hopefully make, give you that mind shift to start understanding why Office 365 backup is so critical. Um, IDC data also shows the very same thing that we're seeing on our end. Uh, six out of 10 organizations um, really are not concerned with things like the backup, recoverability, search, governments. It's an afterthought, and that's a very dangerous thing uh, and pretty scary, actually. So the question that you all have on your minds, why do I need a backup? Doesn't Microsoft take care of it? And really, your perception, maybe someone in your organization's perception that you may need to convince, is that Office 365 combines both the infrastructure and the data, takes care of both, manages both, protects both. Unfortunately, the, your perception, maybe someone you know's perception, is different from the reality. The reality is that um, Microsoft is in charge solely of the infrastructure. They're, they're in charge of delivering you the best possible service and the uptime of the service, and they do a wonderful job at that, right? The reality of the customer, the reality of your organization is essentially all about the data. It's all about making sure that, you know, whether it's long-term or short-term retention, that you have that data up and available as needed. So now I'm going to cover, to, to kind of dovetail off that, we're going to go into the shared responsibility model. This is actually a model that Microsoft provides to customers to help them wrap their minds around their responsibility versus uh, your responsibility. So up top, we're going to build this out. This is Microsoft's responsibility up top versus your responsibility down the bottom. Uh, so first, the primary responsibility we talked about, the infrastructure being Microsoft's, yours being the data. How do you deliver upon these responsibilities? The supporting technologies on the Microsoft side is the data center to data center replication and that geo redundancy, right? That's how they keep the service up and running. Your responsibility when it comes to the data is having a copy of that data available separate from the source stored in a different location of your choosing, back on-prem, could be in the cloud, wherever your organization um, expects it to be. The next is around Recycle Bin. Um, the question you're asking is, hey, isn't Recycle Bin kind of a backup? Isn't that kind of, uh, that, that enables that short-term data loss recovery? Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't provide that point-in-time recovery. Um, so again, what we're talking about as your responsibility is filling any and all retention policy gaps 
both for short term needs as well as long term needs and really giving you much more granular and point in time recovery options. On the next we have security, which that's you'll notice is a blended box, right? Which encompasses both infrastructure level and data level. And why is it a blended box? Because of security, your responsibility? Yes. Is it Microsoft's respons responsibility? Absolutely. They're just different levels of responsibility, right? So Microsoft's is the data center, the physical security, logical, the app level. Um, yours is of course mitigating that, that data against all of the risks we've covered thus far, right? So making sure that you have protection over that data. The next is the regulatory. Uh, Microsoft uh, takes on the role as the data processor. Yours is as the data owner. You answer to your own internal corporate and industry regulations or demands from internal, internal legal. Microsoft doesn't. So that's, that's again just another example of how the data is solely your responsibility. So now that we've covered the Office 365 shared responsibility model, it's pretty clear there are gaps. Um, Really, without a backup of the O365 data, you will probably have a lot less control than you need over your data. Um, regulatory exposure, there could be some security issues that pop up, as well as those retention policy gaps. And speaking of retention policy gaps, we are going to cover those in a little more detail. So the question that you have is, what exactly does Microsoft um, hold on to data-wise, right, retention-wise? And there are a variety of different retention windows for a variety of different workloads, as you can see. So um, for deleted items, those enter the recycle bin. After a month, those are permanently deleted. Uh, an employee leaves the company. Um, it, it then gets deleted permanently after a month. Uh, you can see that deleted SharePoint and OneDrive data gets permanently deleted after three months. And this is probably pretty challenging for, for most IT admins to juggle all of these different expiration uh, dates of the data. You can, you can certainly customize these retention policies, uh, but in, in most cases, you, you still need a backup because these, these retention policies are safeguards. They only protect you from data loss in a limited way, and retention policies continue to evolve, can be very complicated to monitor, uh, manage and monitor. So. Uh, one of these stats we always go back to here is uh, something Microsoft provide with, provided, which is the average length of time from data compromise to discovery is over 140 days, yet the default settings only protect between the 30 and 90 day mark. So you can see that clearly there's definitely a gap between when you discover something might have gone wrong uh, between where you might be safeguarded or protected. So a little bit scary there and definitely something to, to keep in mind, regardless of how long you have your retention policy set to. And what we like to say at Veeam is it's more than simply filling gaps. It's about providing total access control over the data, uh, really regardless of what your retention policies are set at, uh, regardless of when the data expires, um, you, you are fully protected with Veeam. And with that, that kind of leads us into the solution itself. So we are currently the number one backup and recovery solution in the market uh, in terms of market share. This is a product that's been gaining uh, a lot of attention really the past few years. So uh, we're really excited that we're able to help many, many more organizations uh, every year. And if there's one takeaway from this product, hopefully there's more, uh, but uh, if there is one key takeaway, it's that it's all about eliminating the risk of losing access to your Office 365 data. You know, we've talked about the accidental deletions, the security threats, the retention policy gaps. This is all about eliminating the risk, whether that's Exchange Online, whether that's SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business, or even Microsoft Teams. And uh, we just recently came out with a Microsoft Teams uh, backup uh, solution, and I'm excited to share that with you as well. But no backup would be complete without a restore. We offer um, many different restore options. In fact, far many, uh, far more restore options than you would get from, from most of our competitors, um, as well as help you meet those legal and compliance requirements that, uh, you know, being able to find that needle in a haystack very quickly and efficiently for your HR or compliance officer. Next, we also have a I was going to say, if we could do yes. real quick, real quick, uh, Edward. Sure. Yeah, sure. I just want to remind people of two things. One is yep. if you have questions, uh, please shoot them into the Q&A and uh, we'll push them out to everybody on the event or we'll answer them at the end. Um, and two, um, I think everybody has taken the time to put their, their first and last name in the Q&A so we can get your gift certificate to you for attending. 
but I think looking at the attendees who are on and people have sent, there might be one or two of you who have not. So if you want your Timbuktu gift certificate, please type your first and last name in the live Q&A and we'll make sure you get your, your gift certificate. Uh, and then other than that, please send your questions to the live Q to the Q&A section and we'll address them either during or at the end. Thanks. Thanks, Ed. Great. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that, Mark. Great. So um, I do want to mention that we we have a great uh, community edition here um, that you can download. So this is specifically di designed for um, implementations of 10 users or less. Uh, so that you know, if you, if maybe there's a small department you want to start backing up, or maybe the C-suite you want to start backing up, this really gives you that ability to get your foot in the door. And again, this is completely free. So um, this is this is very low bar bar for entry to to get started backing up O365 data. Next, I mentioned uh, we have come out with our Teams backup solution. I, I just want to give a quick shout out to this team solution. Uh, we actually launched version five um, Thursday of last week. Um, so we're very excited about this. And again, we know that so many, so many organizations are beginning to deploy Teams uh, that it's very essential to backup Teams, but not only backup Teams, but back it up the right way. Uh, so I talked a little earlier about the reason to back up teams specifically and the concerns around, you know, not backing up teams uh, the way it's supposed to be backed up. Many, many company, many backup vendors will will not leverage the Microsoft APIs to to help you back up teams, uh, the team structure, the settings, the tabs, the posts. Uh, they will only back up the, the data within each of those um, you know, w within each of the sources, you know, SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business. Uh, so making sure you're backing up the team's data the right way, backing up the team structure, make sh making sure you're working with a backup vendor that leverages the Microsoft Teams APIs and helps you, again, protect teams, give you full control over that team's data and give you the recovery options you need, as well as the search and find options across all Teams components. So that's very important as you're researching team solutions, Make sure you're working with that backup vendor that is leveraging those Microsoft Teams APIs. I uh, also want to give a shout out to our recovery options. Uh, we actually have 40 plus recovery options in Veeam Backup for Office 365. Um, so regardless of what, what your business wants to do with that data, how you want to get that data back, uh, whether you want to save that data in a uh, specific format, uh, whether you want to export that data in a specific format, um, save multiple files as a zip, uh, send it as an attachment. Um, again, we, we have identified some key restore options that most organizations need and uh, we, we've delivered on these and, and much more. So um, again, as, as you're looking at um, your new Office 365 backup strategy, make sure you're working with a vendor that has all of these restore options uh, built in and uh, all available to you. Um, and again, again, uh, th this is very important to consider. Uh, this slide here is is uh, not so much for me to, to brag on how many downloads we have, but I, I do want to just basically show that this is a battle tested solution, right? Uh, so we work with Xyalogic. Uh, we have 133,000 downloads representing uh, 13 million users, many different industries, both large and small. I'm sure some of these companies may look familiar to you. So again, this is a truly battle tested solution and our company, uh, the companies that we work with are, are absolutely loving the way that this um, gives them more control over their Office 365 data. Um, this presentation has gone uh, a lot quicker than we thought. Uh, so I, I, I think I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Uh, usually um, I can only <laughs> stay through presentations about half an hour myself. Um, but we do hope we can uh, use the rest of this presentation for any questions you have, any concerns you have. And we do encourage you to take action today. So a few key takeaways. Um, we encourage you to read up or share uh, this conversational Microsoft Teams backup ebook. Uh, so this will give you a lot more than what I was able to share today about why you should back up uh, Microsoft Teams, exactly how you should go about identifying the right solution for you. And uh, we have attached the link down below, which you can access as well. And lastly, see for yourself, uh, take a free trial. It's free for 30 days. You can start using the community edition of this product as well and uh, get going as well um, through this solution free trial. 
Um, lastly, uh, I think we're going to open it up to, to Q&A. So uh, go ahead and uh, take it away for us, Mark. Yeah, you bet. So um, that was super fast. And, and I, you know, as a regular daily attendee of webinars, um, <laughs> I, I'm sure they appreciate it as much as I do. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's great. Hey, uh, there was uh, one quick question that came. Can the community edition work with Exchange Online? Yes, absolutely. So uh, we have the full functionality of the full product baked into Community Edition. So that includes Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business, and even Teams as well, um, and object storage support. So um, full functionality built into to Community Edition. Good nice, question. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, if there are there, let's see. One one person is asking about um, you know seeing a demo for the restore process. Um, what do you, is that a steep learning curve for this product? What's it kind of give me a, a feeling of the experience? Because I sure. know personal experience, Veeam is super easy, um, and it's it's one of the easiest products to manage from a backup standpoint. But let's talk about Office three sixty five a little bit about that, and also talk a little bit about the, what the restore process looks like. Yeah, sure thing. So you're you're absolutely right, Mark. And, and today's presentation was more of a quick overview than a, a technical demonstration. But um, if you are interested in a demo, we we do have regularly scheduled live demos all the time. Um, but you're absolutely right, Mark. We it's a very very easy solution. In fact, um, we're known in the market as that. That's actually what we're known for is being a solution that just works. Um, and so the restore process is literally only a few clicks. Um, if I could describe it in that way, it's it's literally just a few clicks and you can restore it any which way that you need. And the explorer is built into the product to search and find. Um, that That's the same way. That's, that's very much uh, giving you uh, very simple and easy to use filter sets. Um, that again, within a few clicks, allow you to, to search and find whatever you, you need to in your environment. All right, next question. Is the licensing model based on Office 365 subscriber count? It absolutely is. So the way our licensing works is it's a per um, per per user uh, license, right? So uh, per user per month license that mirrors Microsoft's license. So uh, should be should be pretty simple to to calculate. Um, if you have 100 Office 365 users, that's mm -hmm. um, that's that's how the pricing works on our side as well. OK. Uh, another great question here is um, if you start up with the community edition and love it and you want to roll over to the full subscription, uh, does everything you set up roll over uh, with that full subscription or do you lose that and have to start over? Nope, it completely rolls over and you're, yeah, it's, it's as simple as um, adding the users. Uh, there may be a few extra steps to make sure that you're totally set up, but you won't, you wouldn't lose anything um, transitioning to from community to a full edition, it's it's pretty seamless. Okay, cool. Uh, then it says uh, another next question is: uh, Are there options for for Veeam for on a month to month basis instead of a, a, a you know a one three or five year basis? Um, so we we strictly go by um, uh, one three and five year, and you know there there are some discounts within that, right? So. Um, if you go to the three plus years, you ha you get into some really nice deep discounts um, that are available to you. So it actually really does pay to to commit for those longer terms. And uh, again, we're constantly evolving. This is a product that uh, will continue to evolve well into the future. So I think you can be you can feel pretty safe getting getting committed to those longer subscriptions as well. Cool. Uh, does the backup maintain sensitivity labeling? I I believe I believe it it does, but I I don't I don't believe we actually utilize that within the product. Um, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Teams, when you uh, do the Teams backup, does that uh, back up the SharePoint information as well? Yes, so all of the team's data that's stored in OneDrive, SharePoint, um, th this is this all of this data is collected as well as the channels, settings, tabs, posts, uh, the memberships, 
Um, so I, again, I, I think it goes back to making sure that it, you're you're not just download, you're not just backing up the OneDrive data, or that you know that's that's pulled in from Teams, but actually the whole the whole team structure as well. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, next question: um, Does Veeam also back up data shared with Office 365 groups? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Okay, that wasn't the confident so. yes. I need something. Yes, I believe I, I so. Need to feel better about that. We're we're we're, we're starting it. We're starting to get into areas that are beyond my uh, my ability. But I I, I again to to, uh, to to get much more detailed than the marketing guy, you can you can reach out to one of our technical guys. Yeah, and we'll we'll kind of yeah. talk about some of the follow up yeah. after this at the end. Appreciate um, it. How is uh, does Veeam uh, address any kind of HIPAA compliance? We so the the product itself does does not have specific um, regulatory adherences. Um, however, it can be set up. To, it work. It complements any any regulation uh, that you have. We work with many government agencies. Um, so I, I'm not sure if that fully answers the question, but it's yeah. And yeah. I think from a from a HIPAA standpoint, it you know backing up data is is obviously number one, but number yeah. two, you know, so that way if data is lost, you can store, um, but in which, which is a whole nother security discussion. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it also, it does address it from the standpoint of, of securing it. I mean, it, yes. you know, yeah. if you've got a secure product, it's not open to the available to the public, right. you need to have admin rights and so on and so forth. Right. I just couldn't, I wouldn't be able to label it. This is a HIPAA compliant, right? Yeah, so, we're not, yeah, we're not yeah. checking a HIPAA right. Right. box by having this correct right yeah all right here's a here's a longer one and I, it, it all makes sense when we get to the end with regards to and it, i think it addresses the stuff you you talked about at the very beginning with yep. regards to responsibility microsoft versus the company or the users um is that really pointing to the fact that microsoft is not legally responsible for the data if the data was lost they are only obligated to provide best effort to restore that data is that an accurate statement that 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 is that is an accurate statement. Um, it's it's there. It, it's it's basically yeah. The, the shared responsibility model principle is is in place so that customers understand that ultimately they are the ones responsible for their data, uh, regardless of what happens. And yeah, that statement does does tie in with that. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got a little clarification on the month to month. Um, the uh, the real question and is, is great clarification is really the storage of the data and and you're going to have a quick and easy answer to this but uh, can they store the data for just one to three months instead of storing it for a year to two years to five years um, and because they don't want to store their backup yeah. past three months and if they store that data for only a month does that impact pricing at all? No, so. Yeah, you can leverage whatever storage target you want, um, and you can have restore points or backup points as, as often as you need. Um, so we're not in control of that, and uh, that's something a lot of SaaS vendors can't actually claim. A lot of SaaS backup vendors will make you use their storage. You don't get a choice there, and will actually you, they're actually basically dictating to you in some cases how often you can back up and restore. So with Veeam, we're all about giving, putting you in the driver's seat, you choose your backup windows, you choose your restore points, um, and uh, the storage is totally up to you. So um, yeah, that, and I think that's a great yeah. point. You know, Veeam is your backup utility, your storage is your storage. Right. And whether, you, whether you're, and where your target, if you want to go to, um, you know, your own device, a target device, your own cloud, a private cloud, a public cloud, um, you know, there's so many varieties, but you choose, you decide. And as that owner, you control your storage, you control the time. Um, you can automate that storage, the timing of it, uh, the target points and everything. So it's really super easy. You're in total control. Um, you know, our customers who are using this uh, love that. Um, next question. Uh, is there any impact to Teams users during a backup or restore job? Not that I know of. Um, I know that most um, most backup admins will will tend to set backup windows during a time where there's there's not a whole lot of usage. Um, but I I don't pardon me I I don't believe there's there's any impact to the users uh, during that time. Okay, cool. 
Uh, next question: Is there a uh, is there uh, a nonprofit pricing for licensing uh, with Veeam? Yes, so there there is definitely nonprofit pricing that we have. Um, this is more or less on a case by case basis, and uh, I'd urge you to to talk to a rep um, to talk more about that pricing. Uh, we also have pricing for the uh, education sector as well. Um, which is around students and we do provide discounts for student licenses because of course Microsoft in many cases offers those for free. Uh, so again, we, we do try to cater to a lot of the, the segments that we, we work with and uh, offer some, some good discounts where, where we can. Okay, cool. That was our last question. I'll keep